Brain fog is one of the many potential complications of COVID-19. And now there's a new effort underway to find out why and how the coronavirus can impact survivors' cognitive abilities. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain. Doc. A number of survivors have reported problems concentrating, multitasking, and organizing long after many of their other symptoms were resolved. Researchers hope these survivors may hold clues to help us learn more about how the virus strikes and why some are more severely affected. I go into a room and I didn't remember why I was there. Like my memory is, has just gotten like so much worse. Father and daughter Diego and Natalia Raspini say their entire family was infected with COVID in April. 17-year-old Natalia says simple school tasks, like remembering class times, suddenly became difficult. So I definitely noticed like my clock in my head was off. It's all related, right? The fact that people are losing their sense of smell, the fact that people are losing their sense of taste, and the brain fog, all of this whole system is neurological. The Raspinis are part of a Stanford study on the long-term immunity of COVID patients. Researchers will look at the post-COVID health of about 200 survivors, including children, pregnant women, couples, and families. Because we know that the virus can affect what they call the, the astrocytes in the brain. There's probably inflammation too, but not everyone gets it. The brain fog is being documented. We're actually seeing these changes on cognitive tests that we're giving to people. But the changes are not usually visible on brain scans. In some ways, that's not surprising um, because in other viral diseases that can lead to cognitive changes like HIV or hepatitis C, sometimes we can see totally normal brain scans. The study has already been extended from the original three months to four years. One piece of good news so far. Once people finish their brain fog, they're back to where they were before. I think maybe time really is just the healer. It's been about six months since the Raspini family got COVID-19. Natalia's mother and brother did not experience any brain fog. In fact, the entire family had different symptoms and recoveries. They say they're all finally starting to feel more like themselves. Back to you. All right, Frank, a different study has suggested that lingering brain fog in some survivors may be a kind of PTSD, which is an effect that was found in past outbreaks of both SARS and MERS.